Okay, hi guys, Dino Kang again. Okay, today's episode on Ranting Dino will be on CrossFit training. Okay, so basically CrossFit, if you guys have actually seen my Instagram post on CrossFit, like a very short summary of it, basically CrossFit is not really just training. It is really a whole community of people who really, really like to work out, but not in the conventional setting of gyms, of of like gyms with a lot of barbells and heavy weights and whatever so crossfit is more like you head to a crossfit box they call it a box whereby there's more open space it's more like a ghetto setting whereby um, there's a lot of dynamic movements involved okay so the i'm going to discuss a little bit about what's good and what's bad about crossfit very touch and go so basically, now I think we have the CrossFit Open um, that's going on. So I see a lot of my friends actually recording their workouts. And as a fitness professional, as a personal trainer, as a strength coach, yeah, I have many opinions. Uh. So basically, I'll start with the good. So the good thing about CrossFit is that, number one, because of the community that, that has grown over the years, I'm obviously not a CrossFit athlete. Okay, that being said, it's a really good thing because it really gets people going. Just like spin classes, just like F45 classes, just like Barry's boot camp. It really gets people together to exercise together and really try to push your own limits. So as a <coughs> as a community, it's a very good kind of a cult whereby it's positive encouragement and it's positive energy all around. Right? So in terms of let's say you going to a crossfit as far as i know i think i've been to one before the the people there are very very friendly very encouraging because like i said lah, it's more of a community rather than the training okay now let's talk a bit about the training like how crossfit training is like so crossfit they don't go by like uh, not a conventional like 5 times 5 kind of bench press kind of thing they go by workout of the day so you have kind of a few random exercises put together to form a workout so it's very adaptable very I would say fun okay but then that's also kind of the bad thing with, whereby there's no specific purpose in terms of loading a muscle or I don't know, you don't really improve at a specific something unless it's just that movement. My point is this, um, CrossFit training has its has its purpose, very um, taxing on the metabolism, very... You do need a lot of cardio, but the weights that you're lifting is not like very, very heavy. So it's a completely different style of training. It is unconventional training, whereby they call it functional fitness. Nothing really functional about doing, I don't know, keep keeping pull-ups, whatever. Nothing really functional about that. But my point is this, whereby it's not the generic way of training in the gym. And that being said, it means that it is not actually really targeted at building muscles. So the good part about CrossFit is that, yes, it's a community and it gets people going and it's very good for your heart. It's very good heart training. And to some extent... Yes, if you are going to be doing a lot of different exercises with some weights, it's basically cardio with weights. You are going to build a little bit of muscles. Okay, just that it's not very specific. It's not very targeted at a person, certain um, muscle group that you want to grow and improve. Yeah, so now on to the bad. Okay, actually, the bad thing, the first thing of what I have seen is basically just kind of the safety aspect whereby yes you're pushing your own limits but the environment is actually quite uncontrolled in the sense if you don't know what you're doing it can be quite easy to enjoy yourself okay yeah as with any sport there's always a risk of injury look at that inclined bench press he knew what he was doing but damn okay so um, yeah so injury would be one thing you want to look out for when you are going smashing balls to the wall to to record your video for your crossfit open but uh, another thing is that it does take a lot of energy 
kind of a good and bad. So you burn more calories for sure. In a CrossFit workout of the day, you are definitely going to burn more calories than a typical gym session of me lifting some heavy weights. Okay? So if calories is your goal, yes, CrossFit is going to be beneficial in that sense. But if you do intend to build some serious muscle and strength, CrossFit may not be CrossFit training may not be the best way for you to achieve those goals. Especially what I specialize in is more like losing the body fat, gaining muscle and body recomposition as a as a whole. Right? So it's not just about uh, whether something is good or bad, there's always something good and there's always something good and something bad about everything. Okay, but these are the facts. These are the facts as to what CrossFit training actually is, what it's good for, what it's not good for. It's good for cardio, not so good for muscle building. Very similar to HIT workouts. Okay, that being said, uh, do remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Okay, and that's all.